there needs to be a different way to get through. So I want you to close your eyes. I want you to think of a time where you're frustrated with him. Okay. Now, here's what I want you to do. She's going to go at you, and the more she comes at you, I just want you to think inside your mind one thing. I love you. I worship you. I own you forever. I don't look at it as a makeover show um, because I don't think these two people are being made over. I think they're really discovering themselves. And I think, uh, as you well know, if you watch reality television, most of it is staged. They tell people what to say before they do it, and that's very efficient. And I made a deal with NBC up front. We weren't going to be doing that. And of course, the first week, they're telling somebody what to say. And I'm like, no, 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 I'm a maniac. You know, I was like, there's, I don't care if it's efficient or not. Whatever they say, that's what we're going with, you know? So I'm real proud of that, that it's real, it's raw, it is, uh, it is unscripted. Putting all of yourself into me and the children instead of all about yourself all the time. So I thought if I can shine the light and show that in 30 days you could take somebody's life look like it would be impossible to turn around and show them actually doing it uh, in a meaningful way, then I think it might stimulate people to say, hey, my problems aren't so bad by contrast and you know, maybe there's some things here I could look at doing in my own life as well. What did you no. feel when he was looking at you? Just his desire. His desire of what? Me. Mm. Everybody's got beliefs. Is that what you want, Mom? About what they can do and what they can't do. But a belief is a poor substitute for an experience. Knowledge is much more powerful than a belief. So I try to give people experiences that give them a reality as opposed to a limiting belief that may hold them back. People do the most amazing things when they have to. When they should, they don't do it. You know, they do it until it's comfortable. But when they have to, human beings they don't give up too much when they don't have much choice. You put a wall here and a wall here and a wall here and you pull the walls in, they tend to move forward, you know? And sometimes you have to do that as a parent or as a leader to help somebody or as a coach or a counselor.